Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 5689, the Resilient America Act. This bill reflects a bipartisan agreement that will significantly enhance U.S. mitigation and resilience efforts. Federal policy that focuses on investment in mitigation and bolstering resilience is basic good governments and lessens the impacts of future disasters. For years, studies have de demonstrated that taxpayers save up to $11 for every single dollar invested in mitigation before disaster strikes. There is no better investment. This legislation builds on existing mitigation efforts and will make our nation more resilient. First, this legislation increases the amount of mitigation funding FEMA may make available to states through the pre-disaster mitigation program known as BRIC and makes nonprofits eligible recipients of these funds. Second, it expands the kind of projects eligible for mitigation assistance through the Hazard Mitigation Grant Program. This includes enhancing the resilience of utilities to risks from wildfire, which will be of great benefit in the Western states. Third, this legislation sets aside funds for the implementation and enforcement of the latest building codes and standards. Building codes make our buildings safer, more resilient. Proper building codes, and, uh, codes that account for climate change can mean the difference between a saving a family's home and total loss during a disaster. I strongly support efforts to prepare buildings for actual hazard risk and climate change with updated codes. Lastly, this legislation creates a pilot program to fund resilience projects at private homes. Often homeowners cannot implement recommended uh, mitigation efforts such as creating defensible space uh, to protect against wildfires, removing overhanging branches to re remove the risk of damage from severe storms because they're too expensive. This pilot program will create the first federal grant program that allows homeowners to proactively take mitigation into their own hands. I am confident that empowering individuals through this program will make families and their homes more resilient and again, in the end, save the taxpayers money. Representing a district that has been impacted by catastrophic wildfires, uh, particularly in 2020, has made me painfully aware of the importance of the provisions within this legislation. I wish that this bill and the mitigation investments it authorizes could have been enacted prior to the 2020 fires. It may have saved some of my constituents from the trauma of losing their home. But I want to thank uh, Ranking Member Graves, as well as Subcommittee Chair Titus, Subcommittee Ranking Member Webster, for their support and for working with us on this legislation. And I urge my colleagues on both sides to join us and support the Resilient America Act. And I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the gentleman.